It's Wednesday, July 8th. My name is Scott, and this is Relevantly Speaking. Hi everyone, welcome to the show. If you're in the performance marketing space, you've surely been following the affiliate tax stories that are playing out state by state. California just got some great news. Following Overstock's announcement that it would pull its affiliate advertising from California due to the proposal to increase taxes and with companies such as Amazon threatening to follow suit, Governor Schwarzenegger put his money where his mouth is and vetoed the proposed affiliate tax. He released this statement. After passing the largest tax increase in California history, it makes absolutely no sense to go back to the taxpayers to solve the current shortfall. That's why yesterday I vetoed the majority vote tax increase passed by the legislature. With unemployment at an all-time high, we should be doing everything we can to keep jobs and create jobs in California. That is why my administration immediately contacted Overstock.com when we learned of this news and I am pleased to announce Overstock.com has reversed its decision and will continue to do business with affiliates here in California. I will continue to fight to keep jobs and businesses in California. Way to go, Terminator. Now that we've got the tax issue out of the way, let's talk about PPC tracking software. We recently caught up with Wes Mahler of Tracking202. Now, I could ramble on about why you should be using it, but Wes can speak to it better than I can. Tracking202 is basically an uh, open source affiliate tracking software. It allows people to track their keyword conversions and their creatives. And we needed it because there was no tools that allowed us to do this when we started marketing. So we basically developed it and we decided to share it with everybody. Sure, there's a lot of things that I think we need to change. A lot of it is, is working with the advertisers and the networks and to allow us to kind of see what's happening on the back end. Uh, we send a lot of traffic as affiliates um, to these to these merchants and, and it would be great for us to be able to see kind of if our traffic is backing out okay and the quality of the traffic and this would allow us to basically optimize our campaigns for the advertisers that allows them to get uh, you know better residuals on the back end for them. And, and the reason we developed it and, and why we need it is, is, is you know, there's just a fundamental need to be able to track everything and, and allow people to optimize better. The concept of transparency is pretty huge to us. Why is that important to us? Because, you know, we have to put a lot of trust into the advertisers and the merchants, so the more transparent everybody can be, the better. It is very difficult, though, for affiliates to be, you know, fully transparent, but I think we're kind of getting more towards a shift that if people start working, you know, more paying us for the quality, you know, per transactions that, you know, we can start to open up this, this idea on, on how well stuff is performing on the back end, that transparency will allow us to optimize better, and then we can just build trust. So. It's important and, and I believe once affiliates start actually communicating more with the advertisers, that's, that's basically the, the, the main thing that will help us you know, get over this hump of, of trust. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of inefficiencies right now. So, I mean, the stuff that we see that you know, people really need is uh, I think a lot of it is honestly just, just being able to communicate with the advertiser as an affiliate because there's a lot of miscommunication that's going on there. Um, as far as tools go, yeah, there definitely you know needs to be some more tools, innovative tools that allows marketers to make more money. I mean, everybody's using like the same old keyword tools like Google Keyword Tools. And the problem with some of those tools is now everybody has the same group of keywords and the same tools, so no one really has any type of different data. So, so more of the same tools, but different ways that they generate data and keywords and creatives and, and, and that, that would be huge, just more marketing tools, um, however they are, to uh, help us uh, you know, do better marketing online. Finally, many of you tune in and watch Relevantly Speaking each week, but there's a lot that goes on at Media Trust and in the performance marketing industry between tapings. You can get near real-time updates by following our Twitter feed, which is at Media Trust. That's our show for this week. My name is Scott, and I hope to see you next week.